It was senseless and all caught on camera. Rioters busted windows, set fires, and pounced on police cars. One woman tried to defend the violence. We live a life of fear, and we want them to be afraid tonight. We want them to understand we will mobilize. We are a community, and we are a voice. The tension had been building for days, the aftermath of a New Year's Day police shooting in an Oakland subway station that left an unarmed man dead. The shooting may not have received national attention, except it was captured on video by several bystanders with cell phones. The disturbing images appear to show a man lying face down with two police officers over him, while a third officer stands up, pulls his gun, and fires a shot. 22-year-old Oscar Grant died several hours later. Transit police say he'd been involved in a fight aboard a train, and that's why they wanted to arrest him. The victim's family has already hired a lawyer and filed a $25 million death claim against the city. It is, without a doubt, the most unconscionable shooting I have seen ever. Some law enforcement experts have speculated the officer intended to reach for his taser, but accidentally grabbed his gun. But the officer, 27-year-old Johan Meserly, on the job for two years, won't agree to be interviewed by investigators or make any public statements under the advice of his lawyer. He has since resigned and also has been the target of multiple death threats. We want justice now! Many in the Oakland community are pressing the district attorney to file criminal charges and march to his office. We are a community that will not tolerate, will not tolerate those who are charged with protecting us, executing our children in broad view for the world. But what started as a peaceful protest turned ugly. Police responded to the violence in riot gear, fired tear gas, and arrested more than 100 people. No word when the DA may decide whether or not to file charges against the officer. Meanwhile, people have been dropping off flowers, cards, and candles at the subway station where the victim was shot. Dan Simon, CNN, Oakland, California. We'll continue to follow this story. More now on the breaking uh, story in New York and in Gaza tonight. UN Security Council voting. Nick Robertson hearing new explosions from the Israeli-Gaza border. Nick, let's go to you before we go to Christiane Amanpour. What are you hearing? We're hearing and seeing uh, tanks firing into the Gaza Strip. We've been hearing the tanks moving around, hearing their heavy engines. We've been able to see their muzzle flashes as they uh, fire shells into the northern end of the Gaza Strip. We're also hearing very heavy artillery firing going in the same directions, very heavy detonations. Um, certainly no ceasefire here behind me right now, Anderson. All right, Nick, thanks. As we mentioned, the UN Security Council has just passed a ceasefire.